Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jack, this is JHH Books. And I know this is unnecessary, but it's time for a book haul. I have a book haul. The man who is trying to get rid of a lot of books, you know, just trying to keep his room not overflowing with books. Here we are with more books. I cannot believe it, but I also kind of can. I know you kind of can too. You know, we're all friends here. I have a bit of a book buying problem. It could be worse. It could be worse. But I have a quite... I've also actually, actually, defence, in my defence, I haven't done a book haul since June. Since June. And it is now October. So that's like, what, five months? June, July, August, September. October, yeah. And there's only like 37 here. So what's that? Two a month? No, I'm joking. I'm bad at maths, but I, I'm not that bad. Um, but I can't tell you how many it was. What, five a month? Six? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, see, I'm bad at maths. Um, should we just crack on? As always, I've split this up into segments because if you watched my Come Bookshop with me, you've seen some of these before. So I'm going to quickly go through them first. And then I'll go through the ones I won because I won a giveaway. I, I won a giveaway back in June for Pride Month. I never win. So... I will show you them. Then I'll show you the ones I've been sent, which isn't that many because, you know, I, I'm not asking for that many anymore and things like that. I'm trying to be good. And then I'll show the ones I brought, which I wanted to be good, but it's not. And then I've got a couple to open that arrived this morning. So should we just talk about our favourite thing, which is books? Let's go. So first up, I'll show you the ones that I brought when I went to London. When, if you've watched that vlog, you've already seen these. So it's just um, Toward Eternity by Anton Herr. Anton Herr, the famous translator, you know, writing his own book, had to buy it, signed copy. Me and my friend brought matching signed copies because we're just that cute. I also brought The Safe Keep by Yao van der Wooden, which I've already read. One of my absolute favourites of books of the year. Shortlisted for the Booker Prize. I love it. It's brilliant. I love it. I enjoy it. Queen Bee by Juno Dawson. Again, another one I've already read. Set in the witchy world of Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII. Um, I really enjoyed this. Prequel to the other one, the other series, which I can't think of what's called now. Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I, I got it, I got it. Yeah, really enjoy the book. See, I've already read two of these, so you, you have seen. Then I got The Last Serum by Omar Youssef Soliman, translated by Garda Murad. Now, I sort of picked this one up and didn't realise it was quite still in my hand. But I do want to read it. I just probably wasn't going to buy it that day. But, hey, I brought it. That was a sign. It was a sign. So I'm ready. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And remember this cover. Remember this cover. Because of, of course, it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. But I have a feeling you're going to recognise it again later. You're going to see it again later. That's what I say for now. Napalm in the Heart. Why well, my friend? They said this was their favourite book of the year. So, of course, I had to buy it. I had to buy it. It was on my radar because I'd heard them say it. But they told me I had to. And I do as I told. So, this one's not my fault. This one's not my fault. The Coin by Yasmin Zahar. Signed. I'm a bit of a sign boy now. I can't help it. But I, when I went, I'd see it. It was sort of the week it was released and I'd seen it around a lot. And I gave in, okay? I caved, I gave in. I caved and I gave in. Mammoth by Eva Bautzar, translated by Julie Sanchez. I love this series of books. This is the only one I knew I was going to buy that day. No regrets. I love it. Well, I haven't read it, but I already started. It's five stars. And Strange Relations by Ralph Webb. Masculinity, sexuality and art in mid-century America. Um... It had Mar that's that's Marlon Brando, that's Marlon Brando, and that's basically why I bought it. And now I will go on to the ones I won in the Pride Month giveaway. There's eleven books here. There's eleven books, so it banks up a big chunk of it, doesn't it? Sort of. Yeah. Okay. It does. Some of these I actually already own. You just had to like um, say which one you wanted to read, and I pick one, and I happened to be picked and won. So, but some of them I already own, which is not a problem. I don't mind having multiple copies of books, but let's let's talk about them. So we have The New Life by Tom Crew. This is the special independent bookshop edition, exclusive with extra content, which makes me happy because one of my favourite books of the year last year. I'm happy to have that um, independent edition with the extra content. Very happy. And then we've got 100 Queer Poems, an anthology by Mary Jean Chan and Andrew McMillan. I read this last year. I actually loved it too. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very, very happy about that. And then we have Change by Edouard Louis. Again, I already had a copy of this, but it came. I'm excited. This was up for the vote. It did not win. You all didn't vote for it. So I have not read it yet. And that's only your fault. <laughs> then we've got How It Works Out by Miriam Lacroix. I don't know anything about this one, apart from it's got a severed finger on the cover. 
Um, I, I have no idea about it. No idea. But it's short. I've heard... I've heard nothing about it, actually. I was going to say, I've heard good things, but I haven't. I haven't heard anything. So, very grateful to have this one, because it's a new book to me. Then we have Henry Henry by Alan Bratton. Now, this is a finished copy. I had the proof copy. I didn't love this book. I didn't love this book. But, you know, it's nice to have a finished copy. It'll probably go, now I've shown you. But it was, it's nice to have a... <laughs> now, this is the book I said I wanted to read when I entered the competition. And it is Cecilia by K Ming Chang. Cecilia, lovely name. Um, I have another book of hers, Beastery, which I haven't read yet, but I'm sort of consider myself a fan, even though I haven't read it. But yeah, this is this one's good because it's the one that won me the competition. So thanks, Cecilia, and this this book. Then we have Loot by Tanya James. Um, again, I don't know anything about this, although I literally when I, I entered the competition, I didn't know anything about this. But then I have seen somebody say it's not. Very good. But I should make up my own mind. Don't worry. I should make up my own mind. Then we have Chain Gang All Stars, which I am excited to read because some people say brilliant, brilliant. Sort of like um, adult Hunger Games. Um, but some people do not like it, cannot get into it, don't want to finish it and then bash it online. Where am I going to be? Where am I going to stand in this? I have no clue, but I am very, very excited for it. And then I got... Uh, it's, it's massive. It is massive. It is... Chris, uh, Inside Out, Christopher Isherwood, a first-rate biography of the man, the writer, and the lover. Um, all I know is he wrote some books, didn't he? <laughs> well done, Jack. He wrote, like, you know, Goodbye to Berlin and A Single Man, right? He's, he's, he's quite prolific, I do believe. I will... I maybe will read this someday. This is the kind of book I feel like... Like, um, if I was smart and, like, had time and reading, like, was quick for me, I would bash out and be like, yeah, I'm going to go with that. But this would obviously take me, like, a month. So, but I, I'll read it at some point. I'm very grateful. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm not grateful. And lastly, we have Lesbian Love Story by Amelia Pozanza. Queer history of sapphic romance. Just look at the cover. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, Nonfiction. I'm very excited to read this. That's stunning, too. Yeah, I'm ready. I, is it non-fiction? I have no idea. Study of queer intimacies. Yeah, it's non-fiction. I think. That was a good prize, wasn't it? See, I got lucky there. That was a really good prize. I'm I'm very grateful for that. I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. But let's go on to the ones that I've been kindly sent. There's only four. There's only four. I'm being kind of good. You know, I'm not trying not to request things and because and, I want to be able to get to them on time. And if I'm not able to, I don't think that's particularly fair. So... But I do get some of these four, so. We have Celestial Monsters by Aidan Thomas. As you know, I read The Sunbury Trials not that long ago and really loved it. And actually, they just had 10 to give away and you just had to, like, reply to their DM and they randomly pick people and I got randomly picked. So I guess another giveaway win. My goodness, my luck's changing. I've just realised I'm, I'm just getting luckier. Luckier by the day. I'm not. I'm not. Don't believe that. That was bollocks. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> And then I was sent Desert Echoes by Abdi Nazim. Um, yes, it, it's come out quite recently. They offered it to me. Excited for it? Kind of, maybe? Yeah, no, I am. I would definitely like to give it a read. I will say that. Um, I think it's about two best friends sort of falling in love. And you know, I'm a bit of a sucker for that. So, And then I got the in-between, which, like somebody who works for Atlantic Books, had some left over and I DM'd them. It was just lucky. Um but very excited for this one. This is about sort of two middle-aged men falling in love and you don't get that perspective very often. So I'm very, very... I feel like I'm shocked I haven't read this one yet, but here we are. Then I have Wild Geese by Solia Emmanuel. Now, when I wasn't feeling very well, the publisher actually said, would you like this to cheer you up? And isn't that so nice? This is from Footnote. It's out now. I've heard brilliant things about this. I've heard a brilliant things I nearly picked up recently and I didn't. And I regret it. But yeah brilliant things very excited very grateful that was that was really kind now if you've been here before or you've been here a while you'll know that when I get sad I like to buy books and when I I'm not going to a bookstore I um you know nothing cheers me up more than a package coming to my house that didn't quite that I didn't mean like that a, a book package nothing cheers me up more than a book package coming to my house you know the anticipation of opening it even though you know what it is it's just fun. That's why we're opening two together now, because joy. But let's let's go for the ones I've brought. 
when I've just been feeling a bit sad. First up, I have When Haru Was Here by Dustin Teo. Um, this is, I don't know if it's a companion or it's just in the same world as When Something Sam. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Sam. What is that book? I always forget what that book's called. He is the author of um, You've Reached Sam. Not goodbye. You've Reached Sam. But this has been released in the UK in paperback, but I hadn't wanted the hardcover and look, it was straight edges. So I feel like um, it probably won't be wrong for I leave this one because I'm really, I'm jonesing for it. I'm excited for it. Maybe in November. Watch, you won't see it on the TBR. You won't see it on the TBR. And I'll, you'll be like, you said you can read that in November and I'll read it like in 2027. Then I bought a finished copy of Garth Greenwell's Small Rain. Read this book, really enjoyed it. The more I sit with it, the more I think about it, the more I like it. And it's, I was going to say it's inside me, but it, like inside me, like, you know, in my brain. Um, and I got a signed copy. I now own a signed copy of Garth Greenwell's books and I'm very happy about it. He's one of my favourite authors. I now have these three books in hardback and that makes me a very happy boy. <laughs> Then I bought a non-fiction book, which was Queer as Folklore by Sasha Cowood. I'd just seen, good, had good things about it. And it's a journey across centuries and continents, which reveal the unsung heroes and villains of storytelling, magic and fantasy. Who knows? Who knows? I always like to read a non-fiction a month, as you know, so this could be one of them one day. It will be, because I am running out, so I will have to read this eventually. <laughs> Then I bought this sort of little queer sort of rom-com romance in my local supermarket. I was didn't expect to see there. It's called You're the Problem, It's You. That's it. Is that a... Is that a Taylor Swift lyric? Is this based off a Taylor Swift lyric? Oh, it better not be. It's me. I'm the problem, it's me. It is, isn't it? I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. If I realised that, I wouldn't have brought that. I'm not happy about that. I will never read this. Sorry. I probably will. But... Then I got the Fairy Loot edition to match my other Heartstoppers, which is Heartstopper Volume 4. This is the Fairy Loot edition. It's beautiful. It's signed. Yes, they just... I've got all three. So, although I no longer subscribe to Fairy Loot... <clears throat> excuse me. Although I'm... <clears throat> excuse me. No longer I subscribe to Fairy Loot, but... I still get the emails for these because I own the others. And I will be getting number five, even though it's not good. And I will be getting number six, the last one. Then I have two books that are they're sort of similar. I don't know if you're going to be able to um, tell that they're similar or not. I'm not sure. But first up, I have Intermezzo by Sally Rooney. And then second up, I have Intermezzo by Sally Rooney. I'm not a Sally Rooney boy, really. I've lo I love normal people. But it turns out I pre-ordered a signed copy. A long time ago. And then everyone was buying, like everyone was talking about them. And I thought, oh, I want that. I do want to read that eventually. I have her other ones. So I'll pre-order a copy the day before it comes out. And that's what I did. So I pre-ordered it twice. Idiot. You can say it. It's fine. But they are different. This one is signed by the author. This one includes the exclusive short story, which apparently people really want to get their hands on. So if anyone wants it, I'll just read it to you, okay? But yeah, um... People are really loving this, aren't they? So, you know, and Sally Rooney, she just seems like, you know, she just seems like she's it. So I'm happy to support you, Sally, twice. And then again, sadness. I placed a little order from Gaze the Word and um, I bought these three books. Did I tell you, didn't I remember to tell you that cover? Didn't, doesn't it look familiar? It's the same cover. It's a different book. This is Above Us the Sea by Anna Card. Annie Card. Um... Different different book, same cover. I've never seen that before. I mean, I can understand why they're using it. It's a delicious cover. It's one of my favourites, but yeah. But I've heard great things about this one, so I'm excited. Then we have How We Name the Stars, which I've so nearly picked up so, so, so many times, but I haven't. But yeah, I've heard great things. I've heard great things and I want to read it. I feel like it's going to be one of my favourites. No, I was going to say Five Star Prediction, but I'm not putting that on there. I'm not putting it on it because it doesn't, it's not fair to the books. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> and then I also bought The Betrayal of Thomas True by A.J. West. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't, it's, 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 I don't think it's my kind of thing. But hey, queer story fiction, I will always be willing to give it a go. I just will. And then I bought Rent Boy by Gary Indiana. This was quite hard to get hold of here in the UK. 
But I've heard it's, well, this is one of those books that people either love or they hate. I sort of hate it right now because it kind of just hit me in the face. But I love the cover. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's become a bit of a cult classic, you know. And I'm a, I was going to say I'm a cult classic kind of boy. I'm not. I'm not. I just bought it, okay? I just bought it. And then we have Rivers in the Sky by Ilya Shafak. I'm a big Ilya Shafak fan. I've only read two. I've read The Island of Missing Trees and 10 minutes, 38 seconds in this strange world. But I have loved both. I have her other paperbacks up there. And I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready. Signed. Signed. I told you I'm a signed boy now. And then because we're still in Booker season and I absolutely loved The Safe Keep, which I read and shortlisted. This one was <laughs> longlisted. It didn't make the shortlist, but I just am quite intrigued by it. And it is Enlightenment by Sarah Perry. Now, I, I, I'm just intrigued by it. I love the cover. I think it's a bit queer. Um, yes, I'm I'm excited. I just feel like I'm going to love it, which I've, I know I've got to stop doing, but we'll try. Yeah, so that would be three long list of Booker Prize ones read. <laughs> My best yet. And now we'll open the two that I we I brought. I brought. I'll be glad to get these out of my room. Um, I know they both are, but I'll see it. One of them is a new book just out. And one of them, this one, is my... Oh, it's got a thing. One of my... Book lovers, I know you love that. It's one of my favourites of the year. And I wanted to finish the copy. Oh, there's a spider in it. <laughs> How was it in there? I'm so sorry about that. There was a spider in there. How was it inside the um, package? I'm not happy about that. Um, it is The Unwilding by Marina Kemp. One of my absolute favourite books of the year. It's not signed. I couldn't find one. If I could have found one, I would have brought one. This will be going to my sister, I think, for our book club, which is just where I force her to read a book every month that I love. Um, yeah, loved it. I love this book, so I bought this. I didn't have her buy that bloody spider. I didn't like that. Am I going to keep that in? Will you all laugh at me? Yeah, it's fine. I'll keep it in. And then we have one. A book from Gay's The Word. And as always, Gay's The Word, it comes so nicely packaged. Oh, I don't want... Oh, hello. We have Friends of Dorothy by Sandy Toxfield. Now, she's a sort of presenter here in the UK. Presented Great British Baker for a while. Presents QI. Just seems like a very... Well, I'm not seems. She's a very intelligent woman. But doesn't make anyone else around her feel stupid. And I love that. She, it would be a... <laughs> no, like if you say you could have people to a dinner party. You can fight six. She'd be one of them for me, okay? I'll make her a, a, a cake. She doesn't like cake. I'll make her a stew. But, um... It always comes with a... You know, a little thing. We hope you enjoy the book. And it is signed. I do know. I've never read any of hers before. But excited. I'm excited for it. I just wanted to sign one, really. But, yeah, excited. So I'm happy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I know. I was editing this video and I realised I'd got more and I haven't finished editing it. So I thought, why not show you more books? Why not show you more books? I've hauled more books. I've been sent some books. And I want to show them to you. So... This is me from the future, and we'll go back to past me. Um, yeah, let me, let me just show you the more books. Hi. Hi, old Jack. So first up, I was reading the Polari Prize, and I had to buy some books for that. So we had Forty Lies by David Chenter, The Fitful Sleepful Immigrants by Orlando Ortega Medina, and Hard Drive by uh, Paul Stevenson. I'll link the vlog down below where I read these. It's linked down below. Please watch it. I also bought myself, I haven't been entirely honest with you, by Miranda Hart. Miranda Hart is a sort of a comedian TV star here in the UK and this is all about her journey with chronic illness and how it affects her mind and how she has overcome it. It, Yeah, I literally bought this and started on the same day. And then I was very lucky to be sent some books. You know, I wanted to show them off in the hall and I wanted to, you know, get the word out about them because, you know, that's just being kind, isn't it? So first up by Charco Press, I was sent The Plains by Frederico Falco, translated by Jenna Croft. All I know is that this is queer, um, and by the time you see this, it will be out now, but it's going to be one I am going to pick up very, very soon. Then these next four, they come out next year, 2025. So did I have time to show them again? Like if I did another haul? Yes, but who knows when we do another haul. But we have The Boy from the Sea by 
um, Garrett Carr. Um, this is an Irish novel. Incredibly moving and warm, The Boy From Sea is a love story of a family, a town, a child whose arrival changes everything. I've heard great things about this one, so I'm very excited for that. This is kindly sent me by Book Break. Thank you so much. And then here I have three of my most anticipated books for 2025. For tw uh, I'm a very lucky boy. First up, we have Disappoint Me by Nicola Dinan. This uh, Nicola wrote Bellies, which I read last year and loved. Um, I know nothing about this. I don't know anything about any of these books, so I, I can't ruin it for you. But if you liked Belly, she's got another book coming out. We also have Open Heaven by Sean Hewitt. Sean Hewitt's a poet. He has um, oh, All Down Dark to Survive, was it like a memoir he wrote? He has, I have his book of poetry and I have his nonfiction. I'm so excited for this one. I'm so excited for this one. Again, I know nothing about it. I'm just ready to be swept away by his beautiful writing. And then we have Stag Dance by Tori Peters. Tori Peters wrote Detransition Baby, one of my favourite books of the year I read it, which maybe was last year. Yeah, it must have been last year. Um, again, know nothing about it. Just incredibly lucky to have it. Excited to have it. It comes out in March. Oh, this one literally just arrived this morning. So this is the, the excitement is fresh. So I'm going to throw you back to old Jack now in a pink jumper, if I remember correctly. Um, whatever number I said, the hall was, add nine to it. Because I just showed you nine more books. And... um. Yeah, take it away, Jack. <laughs> so, there we have it. 37 books. Unnecessary, yes. But, the sort of soul-filling and joy-filling, yeah. Yeah, needed. Very excited to read all of them. Can't wait. I just can't wait. If only my reading was going a bit better, but we'll ignore that. We, we can just enjoy buying them, can't we? Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you're going to buy any of these, if you think I've wasted my absolute money. But tell me nicely. Tell me nicely. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'm going to speak to you all really. Feel free to like and subscribe, please. Feel free to like it. Just a little, just a little click. And then a subscribe. And I'll appreciate it forever. And I'm going to speak to you all really, really soon. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. I just did that. Bye.